वेलकम टू द बी आई एस पी सोल्यूशन सो आर टूडे सिनारियो इज एलिमिनेशन ऑफ द इंटर कंपनी डेट इन स्टेटमेंट ऑफ फाइनेंशियल पोजिशन सो फर्स्ट वील सी वट इज इंटर कंपनी एलिमिनेशन इट्स अ प्रोसेस दैट अ पेरेंट कंपनी गोज थ्रू इन ऑर्डर टू रिमूव द ट्रांजेक्शन बिटवीन द सब्सिडरी कंपनीज इन अ ग्रुप करेक्ट सो बेसिकली पेरेंट कंपनीज परफॉर्म दिज इंटर कंपनी एलिमिनेशन वेन दे आर प्रिपेयरिंग द कंसोर्टेड फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट दे आर बेसिकली थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ इंटर कंपनी एलिमिनेशन फर्स्ट इंटर कंपनी डेट सेकेंड इंटर कंपनी रिवेन्यू एंड एक्सपेंसिस एंड थर्ड इंटर कंपनी स्टॉक ओनरशिप For today we are seeing the elimination of intercompany debt. Intercompany debt it eliminates the loan made between the subsidiary, or we can say suppose there is a unit A and unit B. Unit A has sold some goods to unit B. So for unit A it's a receivable from unit B, and unit B will book as a payable to unit A. So receivable and payable will get eliminated while preparing the consolidated financial statement. Okay. So this is type of elimination entry is performed when a parent company makes a loan to the subsidiary, and the parent company and subsidiary possess a note receivable and and a note payable respectively in the event of consolidation the loan is merely just a transfer of cash and thus these both note receivable as well as note payable they both get eliminated okay we'll just see this through one uh, example suppose there are two companies legal entity 2 and us 2 operations and they both will get consolidated its parent company is north america okay so these they are uh, these are the separate line balance sheet items legal entity 2 just sold goods to us 2 operation cost in rupees 70000 and us 2 operation they sold goods to the outside party at rupees 80000 okay so for us uh, us one legal entity 2 what will be the transactions how he will book the transactions these are the intercompany transactions so first legal entity 2 will book as intercompany receivable account debit because it has uh, sold goods to us2 operation so it will book as intercompany because these both are the intercompany partners so we have to bifurcate between the normal receivables or outside sales and intercompany sales okay so we have booked it as intercompany receivables account debit to intercompany sales with 70000 okay and intercompany cost of goods sold account debit to inventory because inventory go, uh, got credited after selling these uh, goods so it will be booked with the 70000 itself in pnl intercompany sales will come at 70000 less cost of goods sold at 70000 there will be no profit because goods are been transferred at cost itself while us2 operation will book the transaction as it will receive the inventory so inventory account debit with 70000 and it has to pay inter uh, to the legal entity to so intercompany payable 70000 okay now us2 operation will sell these goods to outside party at 80000 so it will book as accounts receivable account debit to sales account okay these both are not intercompany see this is account receivable and it was intercompany receivables account receivable account debit to operational sales 80000 and cost of goods sold account debit it will cost of goods sold will be debited with the 70000 because it has received the goods at 70 and inventory will get debited with the cost itself that is 70000 in its pnl it will show sales at 80000 less cost of goods sold 70000 it will book a profit of 10000 okay in legal entity 2 balance sheet it will show intercompany receivable as 70000 and in balance sheet of uh, us2 operation it will show intercompany payable as 70000 and accounts receivable on asset side at asset side it will show as account receivable as 80000 okay so this will be the effect both will give while preparing the consorted balance sheet these in account intercompany receivable intercompany payable will get eliminated so these both accounts will get eliminated okay and in nutshell what we'll see in consolidated income statement only sales will come at 80000 that is outside sale less cost of goods sold that means at the cost which it has received from the legal entity to minus 70000 profit will be reflected in the consolidated income statement as 10000 and in consolidated balance sheet asset side account receivable will come at 80000 and inventory will get reduced by 70000 because earlier it has received the inventory at 70 and after selling inventory got reduced by 70 okay so for 
यूएस टू ऑपरेशन इन्वेंट्री इफेक्ट विल बी जीरो बट फॉर लीगल एंटिटी टू इट विल शो द इफेक्ट एज इन्वेंट्री एज नेगेटिव सेवेंटी थाउजेंड ओके बिकॉज इन्वेंट्री इज रिड्यूसिंग सो इन नट शेल कंसॉलिडेटेड फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट अकाउंट रिसीवेबल विल बी कमिंग एंड एटी एंड इन्वेंट्री लेस सेवेंटी सो इन नट शेल टेन थाउजेंड विल बी द बैलेंस एंड दिस प्रॉफिट विल रोल अप इन द रिजर्व एंड सरप्लस हैड इन इट विल विच इज शोन इन द इक्विटी साइड इट विल कम एट टेन थाउजेंड सो आर बैलेंस शीट विल गेट टेलीड एट टेन थाउजेंड ओके असेट माइनस लाइबिलिटी जीरो नाउ दिस वील डू थ्रू ओरेकल ओके फर्स्ट आई हैव क्रिएटेड द एंटिटी इन डायमेंशन वी आई हैव क्रिएटेड द एंटिटी हेयर North America is my parent entity and legal entity two is one of the entry uh, entity which I have created and another entity is US two operations. If we go in the properties and check, click on the attribute value. You have to define this entity as an intercompany entity for the consolidation purpose. It is essential that you define it as intercompany entity. Okay. Similarly, I have defined it. for both the entities like for legal entity 2 as well as for us operation 2 i have defined if you check in the properties attribute tab as intercompany entity okay now go into the account dimension it is required that all those accounts which are your intercompany account def define those account as an intercompany account within the application under account receivable is current asset accounts receivable intercompany receivable if we see the property intercompany receivable i have created see intercompany receivable if you see the properties within the attribute tab you will see intercompany account i have defined it as an intercompany account and you have to associate it with your plug account that is a intercompany receivable payable difference okay so first you are required to prepare your intercompany plug account and associate it with your intercompany account okay after that similarly i have done some, uh, same with the intercompany payable also okay now after that we will input the numbers as per the scenario we have created so i have inputted the numbers through smart view and i have bifurcated into two the intercompany transactions and no uh, no intercompany transactions are been bifurcated okay so i have entered these numbers through smart view or uh, or the scenario which we have created see we'll just compare both the Here we have seen for legal entity two intercompany receivable will will be seventy thousand. So intercompany receivable will be debited with the seventy thousand. Intercompany sales seventy thousand. So I have inputted intercompany sales that is revenue seventy thousand. Intercompany cost of goods sold seventy thousand. So intercompany cost of sale is seventy thousand. inventory will get credited but it is not intercompany so it will not be coming in intercompany okay inventory will get credited with 70000 so i have inputted inventory minus 70000 okay all the effect which we have we i have already given okay now we will give the effect in us2 operation inventory account debit okay that means inventory is getting debited with 70 and inventory is getting credited with 70 so in nutshell effect will be zero so i am not giving such effect I'll just insert intercompany payable as seventy thousand in intercompany side. Intercompany payable as seventy thousand. Okay. Account receivable will come with the eighty thousand. So here, account receivable that is short term receivable will come with the eighty thousand. Operational sales eighty thousand. Okay. Sales side that is revenue domestic will come with eighty thousand. Trade cost of goods sold with, will come with seventy thousand. Cost of goods sold that is cost of goods sold will come with seventy thousand. So our gross profit will be eighty minus seventy that is ten thousand. Okay, when we run the consolidation, it will automatically gets calculated. Okay, for that you have to first define your entity 
फर्स्ट यू हैव टू डिफाइन द पी ओ वी करेक्ट पी ओ वी ओके फॉर ईच एंटिटी एंड फॉर दिस एंटिटी लाइक आई हैव डिफाइंड माई आई हैव टेकन माई एंटिटी इज लीगल एंटिटी टू एंड हेयर यू एस टू ऑपरेशन एंटिटीज विच आई हैव ऑलरेडी क्रिएटेड ओके एंड फॉर इंटर कंपनी यू हैव टू डिफाइन दीज एंटिटीज एज एन इंटर कंपनी पार्टनर लाइक फॉर लीगल एंटिटी टू यू एस टू ऑपरेशन इज इंटर कंपनी पार्टनर सो आई हैव डिफाइंड यू एस टू ऑपरेशन एज इंटर कंपनी पार्टनर एंड फॉर यू एस टू ऑपरेशन लीगल एंटिटी टू इज इंटर कंपनी पार्टनर सो यू हैव टू डिफाइन दोज एंटिटीज एंड जस्ट रन द कंसॉलिडेशन ओके सो गो टू द होम टैब एप्लीकेशन कंसॉलिडेशन क्लिक ऑन कंसॉलिडेशन आई हैव जस्ट डिफाइन द पी ओ वीज ओके एंड डिफाइन योर एंटिटीज एज होल्डिंग और सब्सिडरी आई हैव डिफाइन माई लीगल एंटिटी टू एज होल्डिंग कंपनी एंड यू एस टू ऑपरेशन एज ए सब्सिडरी जस्ट गो टू एक्शन टैब एंड रिकम्प्यूट योर ऑनरशिप डेटा एंड जस्ट आफ्टर दैट गो टू द बिजनेस रूल एंड रन द कंसॉलिडेशन लाइक ऑन डायमेंशन क्लिक ऑन द डेटा टैब actions just run the business rule it will consolidate it will run the consolidation process and here okay will be reflected that means consolidation process is completed now just go back to your excel sheet through smart view you just click on the refresh and automatically it will calculate the figures now we'll just see the uh, that the figures calculated are correct as per our calculation in pnl side if we see in pnl side if we see revenue is taken as 80000 okay outside revenue nut shell uh, and expense are taken at 70000 gross profit gross profit will be reflected at 10000 we have seen that in consolidated income statement sales less cost of goods sold and profit will come at 10000 so in pnl side this is only reflected as 10000 because 80000 will come 70000 will come and other inter company revenue and inter company so uh, cost of sales will just get eliminated so it has shown in the elimination okay as a zero and zero so 10000 profit is reflected and in balance sheet if we see in balance sheet account side account receivable should be debited with 80000 and inventory should be debited with uh, minus 70000 so in account side if we see inter company payable and inter company receivable will just get eliminated okay so see inter company payable got eliminated so inter company payable is zero and inter company receivable also got eliminated it is also zero we are just Uh, inter uh, short term receivable is just debited with eighty thousand and inventory minus seventy thousand. So in nutshell, ten thousand comes in, come is coming in the total asset side, and in total liability side, ten thousand. It is a gross um, gross profit which is just rolled up here. So ten thousand and ten thousand are balance sheet got tally net effect zero. This only we have calculated ten thousand both side balance net effect is zero. So this is how. we do the intercompany debt elimination through fccs we have just calculated both okay so if you have any doubt feel free to ask thank you